In time for the main event? What can we do for you? I got a bike. Need some repairing. Uh, if you're not in a big hurry, we got a couple ahead of you. Well, I got an exhibition in Frisco in two weeks. You think you can have it ready by then? Let's have a look. Outside in the truck. We can have it ready for you by the middle of next week. Middle of the week, huh? You told me two weeks, Nero. What are you, an idiot or something? Huh? You guys were great. The way you took them on that corner, I guess that'll bend them. You join me on this. That's what you gotta do. You gotta make it look harder. <laughs> hey, you wanna try it? What do you mean, doesn't want to? It's your choice. Nero, you got problems? I was on my way out of town when misfortune struck me. And I think I've blown the internal combustion off my engine. That is a problem. Yes, sir, indeed it is. I uh, got to thinking about that word we discussed. If the offer's still open. I found a couple of boys. They're willing to ride with us. But there's one little problem. What's that? They're short on funds. They don't care what they do, as long as they get paid for it. Now, Jake, that's all the man's got, and I gave him my word. For $200, I wouldn't even move. I couldn't. Now, Jake, the man didn't mean it. He's just uptight. Hey, smart mouth. Did you ever see Big Jake break a man's back? I don't believe it. You hit me. Did you see what he did? I don't believe it. You hit Big Jake. I ought to break your back. When do we start? Two, three days at the most. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, what's the race, Danny, huh? Like I always put winners, man. It's not your day, crap out. Oh, come on, man. You're into me here. Nero, what time is it? Ten to one, man. Where's the man? He said one o'clock, man. Are you always making with the muscles? Yeah. It helps me relax. You ought to try it. Besides, I don't smoke, you know. Later. Hey, Nero, boy. Come here, man. Listen, uh, 
You think Rommel's gonna get this guy to take him heads up? Chase, he never faced anybody that way. Unless he's got an edge. But you say he's got it. Two to one, now, that's a good edge, man. I keep thinking that's bad odds. What we need is something to even it out. This buddy of mine, he works down at this war surplus store. Now, the other day, I'm down there talking to him, and uh, what do you think I said, young? A machine gun. <laughs> now, that baby had cut the odds way down, right? I figure all we got to do is make a couple of changes on this bike, and we can mount old Moaning Maggie right to him. <laughs> what do you say, huh? Hey, Nero. Who are your friends? Cooch. Jake, crap out. This is an old buddy of mine, Cooch. Rommel told me you were gonna be here. They are, you playing, cutting out on JC. Depends on how you look at it. What's the matter? You get tired of busting old ladies? Listen, man, you know I had no hand in what happened to Rommel's chick. I thought you and JC were tight. Yeah, man, we're lovers. You ever hear of a lover's quarrel? So, Nero, what's the word? Where's Rommel? You hiding from somebody? Ooh, hey, look at that, will you? That's a beauty. Must have been some lover's quarrel. Okay, Nero, cut it out. Hey, I bailed your buddy out, and, uh, Cooch is here. See his face. No wonder he wants JC. Coach, come here. Hey, uh, Krapos got to stop at the surplus store and pick up some odds and ends, right? Right. Krapos, what odds and ends? Did you bring the bread? I'll get it. Don't worry, Jay. Uh, you guys jump in the truck. We'll take in. He was my. Son. Trust him? I don't trust anyone. But I'll be on it. And he gets tossed in the sink thing. Now, the first night he's there, his cellmate walks over to the bars and he yells out, Number nine! And the whole. So this new boy turns to his cellmate and he says, Hey, man, what is with this number bit? And when we feel like telling the joke, we just yell out the number, see? Now, later on that night, this new boy decides he's going to tell himself a joke, see? So he walks up to the bar, and he yells out, Number eight! <laughs> and there's not a peep out of the whole cell block. I mean, don't nobody lie. Well, he turns to the old con, and he says, Hey, man, how come nobody lied? <laughs> Let's face it, boy. Some people can tell a joke and some can't. <laughs> hey, say, did you ever hear the one about the fag and the gay dog? The gay dog? Yeah. Man, you put me on, ain't you? No, no, this guy comes to the bar, the bar with his dog, see? Is that the one where the dog pins the bar to the floor and he says, Bowsy, Wowsy? Yeah, you heard that one, huh? Yeah, I did. That was number five. <laughs> How about that, Big J? Watch it with that Nero, stick. you got to smoke? This ain't no stick, boy. What the hell are you gonna do with that damn thing? Man, this has got to work. If Nero here rides with me, I'm gonna hold this pole out like this, see? Just like a white knight. I say the best way is hand to hand. Hit him hard and fast. If you was built like me, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> I still like your idea about that machine gun. 
Remember what Rommel said, no gun. What's the matter, Shoot? Afraid to die? Maybe you got a better way, huh? Yeah. Let Rommel work it out. Hey, Rommel, boy! What if this J.C. sitting down there with a little army? Hey, Coach, how many boys does he have? Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. So we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Hey, man, will you shut up with that shadow of death stuff? Hey, you guys, how about this flipping for a little odd man? What's that? Uh, huh? I didn't want to forget oh, you. About Check. Nobody followed him. You trust him? I don't trust anyone. What's the bet? I go to the brush and you guys make a big deal out of it. My boy, we've been sitting here for over an hour waiting for you. You moonlighting on us, boy? I say he's a spy. Is that true, boy? Huh? You setting us up? Hey, Cooch. Ah! Here, crap up. Catch! You oh! True, boy, true. Rama! Come the way off me! Please, you guys! I'm so glad you come back, old buddy. Never met a spy before. Boy, I never did think this thing would work. 